Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft on the Mysterious JG. I've had the worst luck recording tonight. Had a Star Flight 2 trade routes of the Cloud Nebula video go belly up in a way that I will probably explain the next time I'm recording that LP so I don't bore the StarCraft viewers. And uh, this is like my third effort to record StarCraft because I had like two crashes and then a video where I just screwed up in this mission and I'll explain how. Uh, but I basically failed. I failed quickly and I just decided to chuck it. Like I failed within 15-20 minutes. Uh, and these videos, um, in part because of my playstyle and in part because of the nature of the game, have been going pretty long. Oy, so, I guess let's just try not to screw up this time. It's also gotten to the point now where I've had so many freaking failed recording attempts that I, if I don't get something recorded now, I won't get anything recorded tonight. Because I need to get the freaking bed. Anyway, um, enough of that. Uh, where are we at in the story? Well, last time... Um, Arcturus Manx found on the data disks that we got from the Jacobs installation evidence that the Col uh, Confederates have the capacity to direct the Zerg using something called a psi emitter because the psychic energy from ghosts is connected to the Zerg through blah blah made up science bullshit magic. And um, the bottom line is that there's a technological device the Confederates had that allowed them to use the Zerg to attack specific places. Uh, at least that's what Manx is telling us, and um, although I don't, I think what he what he was what he said, and I'm not sure if he was saying that this was on the data disk or if this is just what he has deduced from what was on the data disk. But he has told us that the Zerg are actually a biological weapon that was engineered by the Confederacy to use against its own citizens to uh, clamp down a dissent, but. I don't really understand that because if it was a weapon of their like if this is a secret the people don't know that so if the people knew that there was a threat the Zerg are going to attack you if you rise up against the Confederacy that would make sense it would be evil draconian but it would make sense the people not knowing that the Zerg are being controlled by the Confederates well it can still be used as a tool to control but it's just a much more complicated thing you'd have basically you're if you build yourself as being the only thing that's protecting them from the Zerg you can make them loyal and then you can only turn the Zerg against the most undesirable elements of your population. But um, we don't really have an indication the Confederates have been that complicated in how they've used it. Um, I don't know, it's hard to say, but uh, I will say it's interesting that we're now in a revolution against the oppressive uh, mainstream authority of the Confederacy, the established authority of the Confederacy, and we're the rebels fighting against the Confederacy. Kind of interesting, since in the States we always associate the word Confederacy, which has a literal denotative definition, but we always consider, con, you know, associated with the historical confederacy, which was the rebellious party in the Civil War. And it's also fun to me that we're fighting for liberty of these small fringe worlds against the oppressive central government of the confederacy, when the confederacy was supposed to be about fighting for the rights of places that did not want to be overruled by a strong central government. And in today's world, it's always the people with the stars and bars tattooed on their frickin' chests who are you know, talking about seceding from the Union because Premier Obama of the new Communist Party has been elected or whatever. So, oh, yeah, funsies. Anyway, yeah, but this time the Sons of Core Hall are fighting against the Confederacy. We did learn about a little bit about Core Hall. We, we, we found out that it's the name of a world uh, or a place. I don't know if it's a planet. We don't really have evidence on that one or the other. Uh, but we found out that Core Hall is actually uh, a place that the Confederates use nukes against and that's why they're called the Sons of Core Hall, because they're, like, rising up to avenge Core Hall. And that's, you know, cool. And, um... Kerrigan was on the ground, actually participating. Uh, Jungle Jimmy was kind of vaguely associated with it. He and uh, Kerrigan both seemed not to be crazy about Mexico's plan. And we don't know where the heck Duke is. He's supposed to have joined us, but we haven't heard from him since. But, yeah, what I found interesting about this... Well, we'll see in the next little piece of, um... We saw this at the end of the last video, but if we look at... Oh, we did... Uh, I did beat the big push, so... Yeah, the big push is the last mission I beat before I started LPing it, when I was just playing around with it. I mean, I've beaten the entire campaign before years ago, but when I installed it on my computer this last time, that's as far as I got. Anyway, um... We saw this at the end of the last video, but let's look at this again. The Zerg, ruled by the sci lured by the Siamitter signal to send upon the unsuspecting Confederate forces, annihilated them. Once again, the protest fleet under the command of High Templar Tassadar arrived and incinerated the planet. Think about that for a second, folks. We'll come back to that in a second. The Big Push. Command Ship Hyperion. 
Greetings, Commander. Receiving incoming transmission. Hey, guys. The time of our final strike against the Confederacy is close at hand. Oh, they're moving on Appomattox Courthouse. Before we Court can strike at Tarsonis itself, however, we must break through the Confederacy's most potent defenses. General Duke will brief you. I've hey, man. I've in over 30 major battles, so I know its defenses inside. And I'm quite prepared to betray them. There are three primary orbital platforms that serve as staging areas for the Confederate fleet. If we assault the central platform, we should cause enough of a ruckus to allow a small force to break through the planetary defenses. General, I'm impressed. I never figured you I got the your refugees packed in nice and tight. The Confederates have Omega and Delta Squadron troops defending the platform. What's and everybody turning their heads to look at? Rainer just boys. pulled a gookie on us. Right. Anyway, uh, I talked over it, but uh, General Duke was talking about how his, um, his Alpha Squadron boys are way better than them Omega Squadron boys and them Delta Squadron boys. The Tri Delts are attacking, oh my god. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that doesn't mean anything. Occasionally, if you have more than one color of Terrans uh, that you're fighting against on the same plot map, there are different squadrons, and they may have different different things that the AI is programmed to build. You may fight one Terran group likes to build wraiths and battlecruisers, while the other Terran groups likes to build siege tanks and infantry. Um, but, yeah, you're not going to find one where... Um, only one of them researches upgrades, and it starts with all the upgrades on air or, or marines and the other one doesn't have any upgrades and never researches them so these guys are tougher yeah they don't generally do that anyway what i was saying about that message at the beginning though was you know kerrigan was on the ground she was actually part of this uh jungle jimmy wasn't there although he seemed upset by it at the beginning and seemed to feel like you know he said something like let's get this over with or whatever like he was involved but um all right so we have this world of apparently chowsara and marsara have been wiped clean by the protoss the fleet came in and just, you know, cleanse the planet with fire to eliminate the Zerg. So the Terrans, too, I'm assuming, wiped out, killed. Now we've got this world of, uh, what was it, Antigua Prime, where there were forces sympathetic to the Sons of Korhal there, so we went there. Kerrigan assassinates some officer. We def destroy the Sons of, uh, the Confederate base. So the Sons of Korhal seemingly hold the planet by the time we're done with all this stuff, or at least they've got a, a foothold, a base there. And, um... What do we do? We get the Zerg to attack the Confederates. Okay, fair enough. If the Confederates are physically, geographically separated from our own people and the civilians, we get the Zerg to attack them. Great. Maybe if we keep the Siamitter there, the Zerg will just kind of hang out and not attack uh, our friends. But we lured in the Protoss, and they scorched the planet. So this may not have been part of Mix's plan, but doesn't that mean that the Protoss have now, like, killed all the people there? Not just, uh, the Confederates? Does this mean that Jungle Jimmy and especially Sarah Kerrigan were responsible for killing lots and lots of Terran innocents? It seems like we've got the Protoss in this game burning entire worlds. They seem like bad guys. The Zerg, we don't even know if they're sentient or not. They're just these monsters, and they're bad guys. They're going around killing everybody. The Confederates are bad guys because we've been led to believe that they are controlling the Zerg. That's still, it seems, it seems oddly early to reveal that. Like, you'd think you'd build up the Zerg more before you find out that there's secretly a biological weapon built by one of the Terran groups. That seems like something that would happen in Act 3. And then the big final mission would be the one where we use the Zerg against them. I don't know. Even at the time, I was wondering about that. I know where it goes now. I know the story, how it unfolds now. But at the time, I was like, really? I mean, that kind of makes sense that that's what's going on. But typically, you'd wait a while before you revealed that. And then, uh, so the good guys and all this, the Protoss are bad, the Zerg are bad, the other Terrans are bad. The good guys are supposed to be us, the Sons of Korhal. But apparently, we just got a whole bunch of people killed. That's like everybody's a bad guy. I don't know. I'm not sure if you're supposed to be blaming Kerrigan and Jungle Jimmy for um, unleashing the Zerg on that world and therefore getting the uh, Protoss to burn it. But if they knew that the Protoss burned those previous worlds, it does kind of seem like some of this is their fault. Anyway, moving on. I gotta be careful here, because I really... I, I blew this mission previously. I was kind of surprised at myself. Um, now we're getting to the point where these missions are going to get losable. Certainly the final 10th mission of the Terran campaign is one that I could lose uh, if I'm not careful. And I don't save periodically before doing risky things. But yeah, I, I kind of blame it myself for blowing it here uh, in the video that was lost. And I'll explain how I got defeated in a minute.
Anyway, we got some new units. Uh, let's not waste a lot of time, though. I'll, I'll have the fun of clicking through all the different things they say later. But I want to take I want to take some time to click on the ghosts several times. You can hear all of their stuff they say when you click on them too many times in a row. And the same thing with uh, oh I forgot to introduce him. We have a unique we have our first ever battle cruiser is a unique. We had a unique first ever vulture. Our I can't believe this. Yep. Half a squadron never would have left us equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Sloppy Joe, slop, a slop, a Joe, yo. Sorry. I generally hate Adam Sandler, actually. <laughs> I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm <laughs> just, uh, usually I'm not crazy about his comedy routines. Popular amongst the frat guys that I never really hung out with, you know? So he's going to sit here and guard the entrance ramp into where we are supposed to set up our base. We are setting up our base at this place where the sloppy, sloppy, uh, Omega and Delta squadrons I'm left a bunch here. of equipment lying around. Because luckily, I think this is the first time we've seen the space map, the orbital platform layout, uh, terrain type, but yeah, luckily there's Vespine and minerals here just like everywhere else. What do you guys think you're doing? How dare you, sir! I'm gonna... Yeah, it sucks. I need to kill them. What are you shooting at? You're shooting at the factory. Yeah, the factory can take take shots from two marines for a little while. What? Been a general for 15 years. Now I'm taking orders from a pup. I'm a pup called Scooby Doo. Name Scooby Doo. This core hull outfit's a mess. Y'all need some good old fashioned discipline. Sexy. That's what you need. Good one. What? So re you really slammed us there, uh, General Duke. Should work. All right, come on, buddy. You just need to die. There you go. Circled all the way around just so that I could listen to Duke's wacky all phrases right. before I killed him. Now, these things have been left here for a reason. You're supposed to drop your units on them. These, as you may recognize some of them, like this control tower, these are the extensions that you can build onto your units, so you get to save the cost of building those. Except for one minor problem, which is that the, the ones for the uh, command centers, because there's actually two, we haven't seen them both yet, are kind of far away from where I'd actually... They're a little far away from the minerals. And the Vespine that you need to gather there. They're just they're they're just a little one or two hexes away. Which will add up. The time it takes your units to travel will really add up. So I'm gonna have them hold position. One of the problems I've been having is that my guys kept uh, they kept bringing in like just one or two wraiths and attacking my uh, my resource gatherers, and an even more annoying problem, the time where I actually lost, although it wasn't because of this, so they actually were bringing in drop ships and dropping marines in the middle of my uh, resource gatherers. That's just not something I expected the computer to start doing this early in the campaign. It's a good strategy. It's one that you need to be defending against. Uh, I just didn't think things were going to, you know, they were going to be that good this early. So, I mean, it's on me, but um, the reason I lost is because I got too aggressive with our good friend Duke. It's our old friend Duke. I got too aggressive with Duke. And uh, he got, like, had, like, a bunch of Goliaths and Marines attacking him all at once, and um, additional supply, additional supply depots required. are required. I'm listening. Buckle up. I'm listening. I copy that. I'm listening. Hang on, we're in for some chop. Can I read you? Orders received. Can I read you? So it might seem like weird placement. I'm going to try putting a bunker up here this time. I have been putting one at the entrance, but Duke can guard the entrance. If I put one up here, you'll see why in a moment. That's a good idea if it works. 
if they don't take it over or, or crush it because I can't get uh, SCVs there to, to repair it in time, then it will be proven to be a bad idea. But if Duke hangs out here, it's a good idea. On the other hand, it is nice to be able to send Duke out on little attack raids. Keep things interesting. Oh, I, somebody should be working on uh, supply proceed. depots. Order proceed. Damn it, my mouse is driving me Ugh, crazy. Can I lure him to come over here? Hey there, Marines. Orders received. Affirmative. Roger that. Okay, that will be useful to me because it will allow me to start building missile turrets on this ridge that you can see over here. Because eventually there's going to come a point where another base that's up here might start sending in wraiths. But really, I keep getting screwed up before we can get that far. Anyway. I really shouldn't have started building that. I should have started gathering... Oh, no, never mind. That, those, uh, that had already been started. I need to start, I need to start some SCVs going over here. Not enough minerals. Yeah, the problem is I keep making Duke attack, and at first everything seems to be going great, but then they just start pulling... Uh, Marines out of the barracks that are like on the other side of the base and having everyone rush Duke and I got him killed I was just, you know was funning around too much wasn't being careful enough because hey that's kind of a victory condition Duke must survive and uh, if he doesn't hey fair's fair I uh, didn't keep Duke alive I lose So, as much, it's a lot of fun to play around with Duke on this mission. It's the only mission where you have him that I can recall. He is a unique battlecruiser. Uh, in fact, when you get battlecruisers later on, it's disappointing that they're not as badass as Duke is here. But uh, it's still just a really dangerous and bad idea to send him out without a lot of support. At least, I wouldn't have said that the first time I played this, because I, I remembered him being able to take care of himself. Able to take care of himself, but... Just really hasn't seemed to work out that way for me recently. Yes, now, drop ships will show up over here, or at least they did in my last play. It was really annoying. I'm going to put up a missile turret and hope that that will prevent that. And that was also the reason we put the bunkers all the way over there, was so that I could swing around here and put up missile turrets, because when I tried to put up missile turrets over here before, uh, their marines came over and took them out because missile turrets, of course, only able to fire on ground units. I mean, air units. Oh, who's? Oh, that's that's. This is where I get in trouble too. The. Uh, Wraiths actually have a decent anti-air attack. So Wraiths and Goliaths, Goliaths were causing problems for Duke. Now these are kind of spread, these will be kind of spread apart, but two missile turrets ought to be enough just, just to stop the Wraiths from being able to go in and harass my SCVs without any kind of resistance. And I need to get another uh, supply depot going. And as you can see, uh, I'm supposed to have my command center over here, but I wanted to be close to the gas. The only guys I got right now, I want to milk it dry. It would be really nice if this thing could actually see above the... Uh, what? What? Above the... Um, excuse me, wow. Above the uh, little ledge here, but I can't. And I don't really want... Last time I built my uh, bunker here and had my starting marines go there. I don't really want to do that. I didn't want to do that this time because I wanted to put it up there. Where I, you know, as you can see, I actually put it. 
But I do need to get a bunker going here, because otherwise, um, Duke will not be free to go over here and use the ability that I'm going to show you guys as soon as I get a chance, which is Yamato Cannon. To go over there and just kind of harass their base from a distance. From a distance, their base will be harassed. Yes, I do, actually. So we'll get you in here, and Duke will start heading up this way. All right, then. Here we go. Got to get them to, to leave their bunkers and come out one at a time, which they do for some reason. Oh, that's a, a different color, Terran. That's a smaller type of Terran. Well, larger type of Terran, actually. Yamato, Yamato cannon fires from a distance, and some targets like that it will take out in one shot. So I'd like to get rid of that bunker so that they can't put Marines in it. And this would be easier once I wipe out the guys who are defending right there. You guys head over here. And this is where Duke gets in trouble. He starts getting attacked by Goliaths and stuff. I have to kill the guys who are repairing that thing so that I can finish it off. Okay, this might be a good time to back off. I was waiting too long to back off before it was being a problem. As long as they don't kill the SCD, I should be good. But yeah, they kind of threw a lot of guys at me here. Oh, this is going pretty badly, actually. But we got it covered now. I will just hold position here so that anybody who comes and messes with me has to mess with the bunker too. But no, that was my whole thing. Like, I would attack something and then a whole bunch of guys would rush me and I'd get killed. But because it was Duke and he was a unique, I figured he could handle it. And uh, I just kept... I wasn't being careful enough with him. I like Duke. He's fun. This is the only mission we get to use him in that I can recall. Wood. What happened to Wood? And in that time, I've learned that I would like to be a woman. Now I'm taking orders from a pup. This core hull outfit's a mess. Yeah, I'm hoping he'll say what. Y'all need some good old-fashioned discipline. That's what you need. Ooh, good one. All right, well, he's got another Yamato gun saved up, so even though it's kind of risky, I'm going to shoot it off and then get him out of there. Shit. And he didn't use the Yamato gun anyway. What the hell, Duke? I could not afford to get killed again here. They killed my freaking uh, SCV, and now they're going to kill the bunker. Oh, this sucks. Maybe I could save the bunker. That would be nice. Overall, though, this sucks. I mean, I'm killing more than I'm... I think I'm inflicting more damage than I'm taking, but damn. Maybe I need to upgrade Duke before I start playing fast and loose with his life like this. Oh, boy. And it's just possible that all this has disrupted their ability to attack me because they haven't actually attempted anything fancy with dropships or anything like that. Do I have an idle SCV somewhere? I mean, who was building uh, supply depots? Nobody. That's probably why I don't have enough. The other thing, of course, is that I need to consider getting some uh, damn siege tanks going to just make short work of anybody that gets close while they're trying to attack uh, General Duke, our old good friend Duke. Let's listen to the ghosts. Ghost reporting. I'm here. Call the shot. Finally. You called 
down the thunder. Now reap the whirlwind. Job finished. Keep it up, I dare you. Job finished, keep it up, I dare you. Job finally finished. Can I read you? Orders received. Ready to roll out. There we go. Yes, it doesn't sir. have siege mode yet, but when it does, this uh, bunker will be uh, a good bit Bro safer. I haven't got all day. Meantime, these two guys are done Orders with what they were assigned to do, so let's get them back to work on resource gathering. And let's improve General Duke by upgrading ship wappets. Now, uh, these will improve General Duke. Okay, well that siege tank will have siege mode if I can ever freaking get it going. You got yourself trapped, didn't you? Yep, alright, where's my dropships? This freaking mouse is driving me nuts. Those are wraiths, not dropships. I need dropships. Alright. Destination. Up your mind. I read you? Need to get some uh, missile turrets going to try to stop them from doing like they did last time that really pissed me off, which was... Report one point it was wraiths in my frickin' uh, base, then it was dropships. In my frickin' base. What I was trying to do before was use Yamato gun on this thing, and it just, he's, I don't know, he said it was a decisive action, but then he didn't do it. That alerts these guys, and they come to get killed. Luckily, Duke is smart enough to target the Goliaths and other guys who can fire at the ground, at the air first. And he will end up with quite a few kills before this is all over. And they keep emptying out their bunkers so that they can attack Duke earlier. Instead of just backing off and waiting till he flies up to a bunker and he's easy to kill. All right, then. Uh oh. There's quite a lot of guys coming. The other thing I could be doing is sending out a uh, science vessel to use defense matrix on them. That would make them a, a real annoyance to these guys. But there is an orange colored Terran base up there which is, yes, attacking a lot. Okay, this is going to get ugly. I need to get out of here. Especially with the wraiths because the... Uh, do not get killed here, Duke. That'll just make me look bad. Alright, let's get a repair crew up here on, uh... This is the, uh... The Team Red Bull, um... Battle Cruiser, so I need to get an experienced repair crew up here to fix it. This apparently got hit with a pot shot at some point before their attention was turned to Duke. Meantime, yeah, I sent somebody up here on a freaking yeah. You need to drop him, drop him off, so we can get back to work. You guys are still upgrading over here. I guess I'll just upgrade slowly these uh, infantry because I'm concentrating mostly on Duke. So rather than building two of that uh, uh, engineering bay, I'll just uh, build the one and. Build the upgrades slowly over time. Yeah, this mission might take a while, folks. And I want to get a shot, uh, science vessel going to follow around Duke and try to protect him. There's a lot of stuff to research. Eventually, I'm going to uh, to want to get ghosts with. Equipped with nukes and all that kind of cool shit. And I think I'll have wraiths, so I might as well start getting their stuff going too. Do I have an academy? I don't think I have an academy. I also just finished my next round of upgrades for Duke, so I need to get going on that. 
he will be a little bit more effective and a little bit harder to kill now, so that's good. That's all to the good. And I think by attacking with him, I've prevented them from really attacking me. I only got in trouble when the orange base guys started coming down at the same time. They were they were on their way to do an attack anyway, and then they just ended up attacking Duke along with the brown base defenders. But I didn't really destroy that bunker. That's what I was looking to do. Okay. I want you to stick to Duke like glue. I want you to go working on this, and I want you to just kind of hang out here and be prepared to support whoever. Well, he can repair this for right now. What? Your auto gun won't finish off a bunker in one shot, but it'll do a lot of damage. Oh, I didn't have enough energy yet. Crap. Why do they keep coming in and out of the bunkers? Alright, I finally got rid of that damn bunker. It's bothering me. Do not get within range of those guys. Ah, oh, crap. Get out, get out, get out. Run! Damn, man. Oh, I killed a lot of guys. Duke's got 77 kills at this point. What? what? What's wrong with mass murder? Oh, I didn't think they had longer range when not in siege mode. Oh, I've really kind of lured them out of their shell. Yeah, he got he got himself kind of wrecked here. They wrecked that toy. Well, I think I'm kind of messing with their economy a bit. And again, they got an established base. It generally doesn't pay to attack those until you're ready to just completely finish them off. What is this about? <laughs> just hopping in and out of that base forever. I really just... No, I can't afford to lose. I've already played this mission too many freaking times. Should work. Just want to finish this guy off, and then get out. So I don't think they rebuild their bunkers and stuff. I don't know. And it's also all this micromanaging of these combat stuff is just making it really hard to freaking uh, stay on top of stuff like this. Although apparently I timed this perfectly. So Duke will be as effective as he can be soon. Uh, meanwhile, we'll keep going with this. I meant to... Oh, here's one problem. I never built an academy. I got distracted. I need to build an academy so that I can increase the range of my uh, marines. Keep this research coming. Let's research everything we can. Research, research, research. Until all upgrades are complete. I'll even research the vulture stuff. Now I'm on a research kick. Which means I spent all my freaking resources, but whatever. Siege whop it. Siege uh, tank going over here. Nobody over here has had any combat. And that's one thing. They were attacking me over here before. Quite a bit. And this time they haven't. And I think it's because 
They've been distracted with uh, me attacking them. That siege tank is in trouble, too. He's got 8 kills. Duke has 90. And it's all because of the various decisive actions he's taken. Make up your mind. Ready to roll out. Destination. All right, you get up here. Move it. Research complete. Hopefully you can get up there. There might be stuff in your way. Research complete. For that later. Order, sir. Reporting for duty. I haven't got all. Day. Identify target. Transmit orders. So you just stick with him, and you keep you get him repaired, and will we continue our slow one man in the form of General Duke chip away at the enemy? Affirmative. Your forces are under attack. They, they, I, they start using siege mode eventually. I guess they're just not using it yet. Whoa, they killed my tank, you bastards. They killed my siege tank. Upgrade complete. Now I could be researching lockdown. That that's one of those things you gotta micromanage and really be on top of, but it's can be damn useful. Lockdown's an ability where you actually um, shut down uh, the enemy units Upgrade. temporarily. You like freeze them for a little while, Upgrade. but only if they're like technological units. Ghosts have the power to shut down technological units. So like siege tanks come and start attacking. You can shoot something at them, which will temporarily stop them. And uh, but you can still shoot at them, which is pretty awesome. Ready to roll out. Yes, sir. Delighted to, sir. I read you. Order, scout. Yes, sir. You. They're making sweet SCV love, folks. Identify target. Yes, sir. I'm just gonna stick a supply depot here and see if it stops them from being able to easily get at that siege tank, or if it just means that this SCV is gonna keep getting attacked. Make up your mind. I thought you were supposed to be following that monk way. Oh, went on. Work, that man. went farther than I meant to. All right. I know I'm under attack. Shut up. As you can see, he takes ex heavily reduced damage while that defensive matrix is on, but it doesn't last very long. Although I've got enough energy to recast now. And if you use Yamato Cannon on bunkers, it doesn't instantly destroy them, but it does enough damage that they'll burn down if the uh, if they don't send out guys to repair them right away. So that's pretty cool. And I was kind of hoping for this, that uh, bunker's not being defended. Computer is a bit weird in, in this mission, at least, about how they defend bunkers. Well, apparently it was defended, but... Maybe I was out of range and didn't realize it. Or they don't have uh, increased range on their marines. And now they're down here attacking us. This has happened before. General Duke arrive in time to help? No, because I ran into their freaking missile turrets. Well, this is interesting. 
I might want to get rid of this. This is where they're building the damn raids. He's shooting at me. There's a wraith shooting at me. And I'm going to save because I keep... I can't help it. I want to be aggressive with Duke. He's a fun, unique character that I never get to use again. So I want to use him. But um, you can lose the whole mission by getting him killed. Anyway, he's now as upgraded as he's going to get, so let's start upgrading our siege tanks. And, um... I'm going to get lockdown going. We'll get everything going. I've just decided I'm going to research the whole tech tree this time that we've got. We don't have all the technologies that are av available here, but... Oh, defensive ma matrix doesn't last for a limited time. It takes a limited amount of damage. That being the case, there's no reason not to cast it on him as soon as I have enough energy. Which I now do. I'm not worried about the control tower as much as I am the starport itself, because that's what's building those ultra-irritating wraiths. What I really would like to get rid of, of course, is the factory that's building all the, the uh, goliaths, but... He hasn't got all day. About time. So he gets 150 energy. I can take out this thing. Research complete. Meanwhile, some research has been completed. That's nice. Take this out, and then get him back to the middle of my base somewhere. Aw, oh, damn, I was really hoping it wouldn't say research complete again until I found out what the last one was, but there's not that many places left where there's research to be done. Yes, sir. Things have gotten really quiet over here in the meantime. You know, it's my duty to please that booty. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so... Once I've got fully powered up... Yes, yeah, he's all powered up. So I could, um... Uh, to get, get some use out of all those uh, starship upgrades, I could consider building up some wraiths in this one. Who, who's attacking? Oh, no, that Terran, that, he needs to stay right where he is now, then, repair. But, the guy he attacked got off one, yeah, uh, what am I talking about? They got off one attack against this guy, so I'll repair him. But anyway, what I was thinking was, uh, Wraiths, I've researched all the upgrades for them, I might as well try and get some use out of them. Ah, uh, but the big gas suckers. And I spent a lot of gas on research and on repairing Duke, so forget about forget about that for right now. We've now got the best ghosts we can have too, except for the armor. But uh, they've got all their research. They've got maximum energy. If these guys didn't have so many freaking um, Missile turrets, I would suggest sending the duke the, the ghosts over there. Ah crap. Now they've got battle cruisers. This is not good news for us. So we've got a duel between these two, but my guys are unique souped up, and theirs is not, so I'm going to win. I read you. What are you doing? Yes, sir. 
You need to come over here. Oh, you're coming over here to repair Duke. Well, why don't you replace that missile turret instead? Meanwhile, continue to upgrade stuff. And eventually we need to be ready for, like, the mo mother of all attacks. But now I'm noticing that we're going to be really, uh... Who's attacking now? They sent a drop ship in and everything it tried to drop got killed the instant it was dropped. Which happens sometimes. I think I'll just leave them there. I think I'm going to have to go with Marines again, because uh, I'm running low on gas. Yes, I'm always full of hot air, hoo hoo hoo, but um... Did I lose some of my miners down here, my yes, Vespine guys? I don't seem to be bringing it in as fast as I'd like. Yeah, I'm going to be down to trace amounts of Vespine very shortly. Duke's got over 100 kills. That's kind of fun. You wait here. Duke, you take a look. See, if it's bothering me that you've got Yamato ammo that's not being used. Let's see if we can shoot at some missile turrets or something over here. There's probably missile turrets over here to stop me from doing uh, wraith raids. bothers me when he goes too long without using that Yamato gun. Get over here and repair this thing that got hurt. There, Johnny! So I try to do something different, spend a lot of time at it, and ultimately just go with three barracks turning out Marines. Go figure. Wondering, I think it's time to start building missiles too. So they are going to head down to that other one for just temporarily because of this. Use ghosts to target nuclear missiles. This is really going to slow down my Vespian intake, but well, no, I can't even do it until after I. Uh, it might be better to just build... You know what? I'm not even going to move this. I'm just going to build another terrain center, uh, command center and use it for building nukes. And uh, this one will just sit there and suck up trace amounts of Vespian. 400 uh, minerals traded in in exchange for a better intake rate of uh, Vespian. I think that's fair. And i got a commsat station going here. I can't. Forget it. It'll stay right there. Oh, this sucks. I need to, uh, I need to take over the brown base or something, because I'm about to use up all my resources just hanging out. Hanging out. Hanging out with family. I got plenty more minerals over here. A couple thousand, anyway. So I'm not too worried, but... Would not be a bad idea to start showing off those nukes that I've been uh, talking about. Orders, Affirmative. Yeah, this could get bad, actually. Orders, you want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of me, boy? Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. I need to come back and deal with that later, but I'm almost out of money, so I can't mess with it right now. I was having some success. Well, now I tried, Now I had an SCV that I was going to have follow him around, but he can't really do that. So let's instead have him come over here. When this thing is done. They don't have science vessels, so I just, with my ghosts, need to be careful that I don't wander headlong. Once they're cloaked, I need to make sure I don't wander 
headlong into uh, missile turrets, and uh, I should be able to go in and show you nuclear strike. Okay, that's textbook whooping up on uh, wraiths. Let's come back over here and see if we can take out some more of their stuff. But nah, I can't help but feel like I've actually done a pretty crappy job here. Go, go, go. I like this mission. It's fun. It can, takes takes a long time if you uh, aren't better at the game than I am, but it's fun to, to use Duke. Oh, we didn't have enough energy. Because I went up and attacked that one orange uh, gun. Uh, I think we decided there's no reason not to have this on him at all times. And I can do it on the science vessel itself, too, can't I? No, I guess science vessels can't cast it on, on themselves. That would be considered obscene. I got nuclear missiles ready. I'm gonna try to save those. I'm gonna try to save those for the uh, for the orange base. He's looking for these inf the infantry are coming. They're gonna die. And I can finally have broken the back of this base if I get rid of the damn... Uh, hey, leave me alone. I'm just a science vessel. Finally break the back of these guys if I destroy their unit producing structures. So masses of these guys are obviously a lot more effective than just uh, one of them, but battle cruisers, I mean. Come on, Duke. Just finish this damn barracks and I'll feel like this was a success. Once again, I got guys coming from all over their base to stop him. I guess I should just be using uh, those infantry I've been working on to support them. What do you think? So this will be the end of one barracks, and once again, I'm just taking way longer with this than is necessary. But what? It's Duke with 160 kills. Well, you know what? This probably is their only uh, armor. If I get rid of this, they can't build Goliaths. They've probably got a whole bunch of Goliaths hanging out, but they can't build anymore. Your forces are under attack. An attack on Duke? I'm stunned. I can't even respond to that. Oh, so fun. Oh, you know what? It's probably time to finish off their armor upgrades and upgrades for uh, siege tanks and stuff. I'm sure I've got some idle... Uh, SCV, whoever was building uh, these things, yeah, I'll get this population limit up to 200. I didn't think they were going to be able to build any more of these. So either they got another armory, or they just had some that were still alive. Destination! 
You want a piece of me, boy? Do not want him flying over to that um missile turret. He's almost got enough for a, a motto gun. Drop ships, bringing in guys to attack Duke, most likely. All right, then. Transmit orders. Let's roll. All right, meantime, uh, you keep building and uh, minerals are coming. Yeah, I need to find where their their uh, resource piles were and. Uh, Take them over because I've pretty much exhausted my supply here. Oh, damn it. No, no, no. Get up here. You guys are supposed to make a new group with them. So I got two groups of 12 with no overlap. It's not going to work like this. Here's where it gets interesting if I can take this thing out. I won't be able to build anything. They don't seem to... This computer AI difficulty level doesn't seem to be programmed to replace its buildings anyway. But, uh, yeah. And normally you'd be using a much bigger force than this to destroy a base. But, yeah, if you want to try to take out the command center, if you can, get rid of the workers, get rid of the buildings that produce units, don't worry about things like engineering bays. Only reason I got rid of that armory was because I was hoping it meant they couldn't build more Goliaths. Because you're supposed to require an armory to build Goliaths. I think the Goliath that I found after that was most likely left over from running around defending some other section of the base. What? This should really mean that I've broken the brown uh, enemy. But there are, of course, uh, those orange guys to be dealt with. Would be nice if I knew. Destination. I guess I'll use you as a scout. Uh, be nice if I kind of knew. Oh, never mind. Here's their resources right up here. I was going to use this uh, dropship to scout, but I think we've pretty much found now where their resources are. She might run into a missile turret or something. That's about all I'm going to find over here. I copy that. In the five, 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 five. pretty clear. Oh, I guess Duke was already through here. Alright, now I'm back over here. Alright then. Decisive action. We need to get rid of this anyway. I can't use their Vespine. How much we got left? We're running out. I need to move my base if I intend to, uh, to not just finish them off here now. Make up your mind. Commander. Outstanding. Give me something to shoot. Jacked up and good to go. Don't have to worry too much. I got a whole bunch of freaking, uh, you know, control command centers that can be moved, so I don't have to worry about having enough to build a new one, but still. Does this, I wonder if this will count as a kill for him. He's got 181 now. General Duke, destroyer of worlds. 182, yeah, blowing up that building does count as a kill. Should count. I mean, I blew up a building. Should count as much as killing one Marine. In this game, where Marines have a life expectancy of about two seconds.
This thing is probably empty. All right. Then. Or it's got fire bats in it. Something really lame like fire bats in it. I just, just like, all right. Well, I'm gonna hit this supply depot before I die. Okay, let's let uh, our Marines go try to help out make this go faster. Now they are probably susceptible to some of the guys that are hanging around left over, like uh, fire bats and whatever. But what did I just say? What we'll have left to contend with is orange. I don't know how big and bad and tough their base is, but uh, I think we, you know, we handled things well enough when there were two bases after us that I'm not too worried about it now that there's only one. Let's move, Wayo. All right then. Missile turret up here. Start picking some fights with the orange guys. Ready to cast defensive matrix on him as soon as it becomes uh, appropriate. Oh, these guys have actually crossed pretty deep over into the orange base. Yeah, this is no good. <laughs> Now we just have a big old pitch battle going here. Probably need to be working on more, um, more Marines, actually. Spent all that time researching all this other stuff, and I'm just building masses of Marines. Your forces are under attack. Oh, you know what? I need to get the ghosts involved before this is over. I gotta show you guys Nuke. Anyway, this is where they'd have to come to attack us by land, so let's get everybody over here to defend this spot, and I'll just regroup until I can use my ghosts. Which will extend the length of the video, probably, but... Yeah, I think we're all good with that. You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of me, boy? Order received. And I think I will build another uh, command center up here, rather than... Uh, moving the one that's bringing in small amounts of Vespin. What? what? He's not a patient man, folks. See, make sure there's nothing over here that's a threat. I don't think there is, but... Should work. I think the brown base is broken. All right, then. Oh, here's a threat to Duke. Nobody else, really, but... Decisive action. He can handle one missile turret, but... Should work. Alright, so... That's it. Brown base is clear. Other than, like, you know, that right there. It's, uh, 
get my ghost to just shoot it up without using nukes. Now, they could use drop ships to continue to be sneaking up on me in mean ways, but... I should now be free to get a command center going here so we can just start sucking in resources again and being good to go. You really need a dropship. How did you even get that far in? I'm listening. Hang on, we're in for some job. But what did I what did I do? I did what I promised. I filled out the tech trees that you have at your disposal on this mission. At least I will have once they finish researching one more level of armor. Well, you guys can get regrouped. Outstanding. Jacked up and good to go. What? Oh, this was one of their buildings blowing up from being attacked by ghosts. I'm here. I think. I'm all over it. Yeah, ghosts have pretty good range. And if you research that ocular or whatever upgrade, they have really good eyesight, too. I'm listening. Go ahead, HQ. Okay. Man, I feel good to have this mission done. It really didn't go very smoothly for me here. It went great when I played it off-camera recently. Played it on-camera, of course, suddenly little things start going wrong. But I kept Duke alive. That's basically the main objective. The problem is, of course, I strayed away. I was playing around. You know, I played around with it before. I was, uh... I was having fun with, uh, frickin', um... Duke, but now it's like... In order to win, I had to go back to just lots and lots of Marines attacking everybody in the world. So my gas intake will hopefully now be high enough for her gas that I can uh, build a comsat station that I can actually um, possibly build wraiths but I certainly don't need to build wraiths that took a while and uh, same guy got the kill good for you buddy Base is under attack. Damn it. Who's attacking my base and how? That is not going to go the way of my, uh... There we go. Really hoping I could sucker him into fighting a bunker. fast as Duke seems to get killed, that's as fast as those things will die if they are not a unique hero version and they go messing with a bunker. I haven't got all day. What? Reporting for duty. Affirmative. Alrighty. I'd really like to get my ghosts up here using these, but, um... Well, you know what? They probably could. I'm looking at where the missile turrets are. Missile turrets will detect them while they're cloaked. Uh... <sighs> damn it. Yeah, they're using drop ships and stuff. That makes sense. Try to interfere with that a bit. I'm here. Upgrade complete. Ghost I guess I'll save just in case something happens, but uh, I just want to show you some nuclear strikes. 
because they're fun. They can be very effective in StarCraft. StarCraft 2, they kind of got weakened a bit. Um, they're expensive to use, so you want to make sure that you get some bang for your buck, as it were. I don't know where these guys keep slipping in from. Can you get up there? Climb those stairs, yeah. Oh, well. Doesn't really do you much good to be up here, but... At least this missile turret will be able to see. So we just need to make sure we don't get too close to a missile turret without seeing it first. But here's a good example of... when these can be effective. whole bunch of stuff going on here. Just drop a nuke right in the middle of it. Base is under attack. Nuclear launch detected. So they stand there, they paint the target with like a laser or whatever so that you can launch your nuke and it will zero in on this target. And then see what happens. And you get that awesome nuclear launch detected noise. Now they're scrambling around. But it's too late. They're all gonna die. And then the ghosts start beating up on the buildings that were there. And you build more nukes. So that hopefully before your ghost's cloak runs out... And this is why it's important to research the thing that extends their energy. You'll have another set of nukes ready. I'm gone. This is another one of those. It's, it's a lot of fun to play around with in campaign mode, but uh, it's expensive. So if you don't use it well, you're you, you're just going to waste a lot of money. And um, if they have a comsat station, they will scan at the. They will. They can see where the nuclear explosion has been targeted. AI doesn't always respond. But they'll scan that area, find your guys, and kill them. And if they kill them before the uh, before the nuke hits, uh, they can prevent the attack. Finally. I'm gone. I hear that. Call the shot. These guys are going to run out of energy pretty soon. And it seems it takes forever for ghosts to kill buildings, as you've probably noticed. Finally, the nuclear missile's ready. Jesus. It took forever. Okay, sometimes it's effective just to actually target the missile turret. And it'll uh, do collateral damage to nearby stuff. So after this, I just gotta pull these guys out. wait for him to not be hunched over anymore. It means that the missile's launched and we can get out. We don't have to stand there the whole time. And we'll send them back over here and hopefully they'll get back here before the cloak runs out and somebody kills them. Okay, so we got to see nukes. That was nice. Um, build some more now that I've got taken over that other resource patch, which it wasn't even being used by the green base, or brown base, it was just kind of there. Yes, sir. Waiting for you to take it over if you started running low on minerals, obviously. Right away, sir. How's uh, Duke doing? Duke is fully loaded up and ready for bear again. Because these guys have been doing lots of repair. start building mass wraiths if I wanted to at this point. Um, 
They are, after all, awaiting launch orders. I think at this point. Outstanding. Commander. Give me some issue. Commander. Might as well send my Marines. Although I don't really have anything to defend against a counterattack, but um whatever, I think their base is pretty much beaten. What do they got over here? They don't have like a whole other subsidiary base over here. It's just uh that base that I was nuking away at is their base. Nuclear missile ready. Rate the waiting launch order. Call the shot. Nuclear missile ready. So these guys ran out of cloak and are now getting cloak back. Your forces are under attack. Give me some to shoot. Outstanding. Target over here somewhere. I thought I attack clicked that so that they would shoot at it and after other targets, but apparently they just prioritized it because they just all got butchered. That was kind of ridiculous. That didn't go well at all. Meantime, these two guys are still alive, so that's nice. And now I need to get bunkers going, because that went so poorly. One bunker right here ought to be enough. Uh, these guys can defend it. Because I'm... Seriously doubt I'm getting another attack over here again. Let's do fire bats for some variety. My forces are under attack. Crap. Good, they are going to be able to fight. They're just attacking the under construction bunker rather than the troops, so that's probably good. Oh, do you not have all day? Oh, I'm sorry. All right. 213 kills for... Uh, I mean, this is a mission where you wonder if he can get 999 kills or if it actually goes up to 1,000. I'm not going to test it and see, but I do get curious. Need a light? Yes, sir. Need a light? Yes, I need a light. Thank you. One hit point left. You get to live in the bunker. Congratulations for your bravery. This is pretty cool. These guys, of course, will not be able to do anything against um, wraiths, but it'll just be fun to see like swarm of fire bats coming down and killing everyone ever. And the wraiths are still awaiting launch orders. Yeah, crap, I knew this would happen eventually, of course. There was already a force of them around here somewhere, wasn't there? Did they fly off with Duke, or...? Yeah. Set so the rally point for this building on Duke. Receiving headquarters. I haven't got all day. Well, I have, but that doesn't mean I want to spend all day on this. Need a light. Need a light. Hmm. We have you on visual. Excellent. Well. Need a light. Your forces are under attack. Need a light. 
Need a light? Want to turn up the heat? Great awaiting launch orders. What? About time. About time I wandered slowly over here to kill this thing and to destroy millennia, part of our marionette project. It's really, it's Minx I was trying to do with that, but whatever. I haven't got all day. You know what I should do? I should, uh... grab these wraiths, cloak them, see what they can do. Let's, uh, take out the surviving detector. Meanwhile, oh, look, my uh, bat fire bats are arriving. Want to turn the heat? Yes. Oh, looks like they did have um, the scan ability thing because they used it to uh, scan where those wraiths came in, and again. Okay, so they they weren't doing it with the ghosts, but they're doing it with the wraiths. I don't really get that. So really, this is it. Uh, eight and nine could come in and do some more nuking, but um, and you know what? I'll bring them over to the entrance, and we'll see. But I think it's pretty apparent at this point that we've won. Took a while. I'll grant you that. I'll give you that one for free. Fire bats destroy buildings a lot faster than marines do, it seems like, but maybe that's my imagination. No, you know what? Let's let, uh... Let's nuke their last buildings with a double nuclear strike that's completely unnecessary. What's this over here? Oh. Eh, let's take a look, make sure we're not missing anything. Oh, we are missing. They're, they got other other buildings up here. Your forces are under attack. Well, this size. Well, what? Just about over. This is. Again, we are assaulting the central of three platforms. We don't even see the other two platforms. It's just the idea is that we're attacking them and that this will confuse the defenses of Tarsonis. I really didn't want to waste all the nukes here until I knew that this was the these are the final two buildings, but let's just nuke double nuke this. This is like completely needless expensive two nukes, but this is just more resources that we could be taking. Oh, there's... there is more defenses here. Oh. It looks like they've abandoned this section of base. So anyway, yeah, this is not the end. This is a waste, actually, of resources. There's a little section of base that they probably abandoned so that its defenders could, uh concentrate on their main base or whatever. See if these two marines can finish it off before everyone else gets over there and spoils their fun. Maybe we can even get nukes going again. I love to nuke my fellow Terrans. My fellow Terrans. I guess there were more uh, orange guys somewhere here because they just came up and got shot there. It was not not the last orange defender that we uh well, that would appear to be it though. This is Duke. The emitters are secured and online. Who authorized the use of Yeah, I didn't remember hearing about that. I did. 
Lieutenant. Oh, Antigua was a moon. I guess that makes it okay. Hey, man. Think this through, man. She's right, man. Man. Believe me. You all have your orders. Carry them out. Why are we listening to you again? Okay, so one reason we're using Duke in this mission is because he was the only one who was going to... You know, Kerrigan or Raynor would not be willing to set up an entire planet to be nuked. And a little worrying fact about... Uh, General Duke, I thought it was bad enough that, you know, I have defended this planet in over a dozen major battles, and now I'm going to betray it. Not only is he betraying Tarsonis and uh, opening up to an attack by the Sun's Core Hall, he's opening up to an attack by the Zerg. I didn't know that. Wow. General Duke's a douche. General Douche. It's our old friend Douche. Anyway, one hour fifteen. I'm sorry, folks. i got to make these missions go faster than that. I won't do the full tech tree in the next mission, although the next mission is a really fun one to use nukes on, unfortunately. Um, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. I did 123 units, so I had the smallest army of anybody. I killed by far the most, and I lost the least. I lost only two structures in that whole thing, which is surprising, and uh, blew up a hell of a lot of them, though. And spent a lot more minerals and gas. That's the thing, folks. They probably started off with a decent stockpile, and didn't really replenish it that quickly. That's how the AI is programmed on these maps. But the real thing is that they don't spend what they've got. So, all right, that was a long video, but it's over. We have taken over one of the orbital platforms, which is going to confuse their defense and allow us... We have the Psi emitter in place. Is the Psi emitter on place on the orbital platform? Is that what's going on? I guess we'll find out next time. I thought the idea was that once we took the orbital platform, we I assumed the idea was, and I'm not sure why Kerrigan or Jungle Jim are surprised, since uh, Manx said he would do whatever it took, but I figured the idea was, from what Duke said, take over that central platform, and things would be confused enough that a small force could land on the planet. I figured the idea was a small force was going to land on the planet with the Psy emitter and lure the Zerg there. I just always assumed that was what was going on. Apparently, I'm quicker on the uptake than Kerrigan and uh, Jungle Jim. Go me. Uh, but next time, folks, I'm thinking that we're getting ready to bring the hurt to Tarsonis. Although, arguably, our main characters, Jim Rayner and Sarah Kerrigan, since you, the player character, are the unnamed magistrate and you're being referred to less and less in the dialogue. Um, yeah, these any, any combination of those three are the main character. And... Um, Although the magistrate doesn't really get a say in the matter, I can't imagine he's very happy. Certainly, Jimmy and Sarah aren't. But, Sons of Core Hall, Wraith Squadron, Bravo, Mission, Assault, Confederate, Space Platform, High Orbit, Fortress, Capital, blah, blah, Tarsonis, go away, little message about StarCraft. So we'll get a little cinematic to reward you for sitting through an hour of play. This is Tarsonis. The capital of the Confederacy. The Richmond of space. So I says, answer that, stay fashionable. Sound funny anymore, honey? All right, get the cheddar to eat. Drop your socks and grab your throttle. It's not funny, is it? Yeah, there's the stars and bars. In case you hadn't gotten it, everybody has a southern accent, except for Kerrigan. If you never explain that, everyone else is southern, and it's the Confederacy. I guess the Wraith pilots aren't southern. Some of the individual units aren't southern. Like a beacon, the combined power of the Zyamiters, Zyamiters reached out to the far corners of the Terran sector, luring billions of Zerg to the capital world of Tarsonis. The Zerg, overrunning the Confederacy's best defenses, proceeded to lay waste to Tarsonis' major cities and industrial centers. That's what I always thought was happening. But now we got New Gettysburg? Interesting. I made reference to Gettysburg before, when we were talking about the, you know, the final strike of these these Southerners launching their final strike. Gettysburg, of course, being an effort to finish off the Union. But um, I'm going to have to make an effort to finish off this video. Thanks for watching, folks. Boy, this one was a bit of a nightmare to record. Um, but it's finally done, and now I need to get some sleep because I've got to get up and go to work in the morning. 
But as important as that is, folks, it's more important that we got to do another episode together of Let's Play StarCraft. This is Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching as General Duke racked up hundreds of kills on his way to putting the Psyometers in place to get millions of kills. Duke and Minx have a lot of blood on their hands. Although the only difference is, for me, that Minx doesn't have a controllable unit with hundreds of kills to its credit. Thank you very much for watching, you guys. I will see you next time when we'll figure out what the heck the deal is with a mission called New Gettysburg. Bye-bye now.